because six years of my life and I'm unemployed, I can't feed my family, take care of my family. What am I supposed to do for them, right? Don't do that, you know? Don't drop out of your dreams. Damn, that was deep, that was cute. I believed that I would be that person who on the day of judgment is one of the first people to be tossed in the hellfire because they sought the deen, they sought knowledge so people can say, oh, this brother has mashallah nice knowledge. I'm, I'm a walking failure, guys. But that's what makes me successful because I'm not afraid to fail and I fail with enthusiasm. I'm not a slave to this channel. I'm not a slave to my camera. I'm a slave to that. That's, I'm a slave to this. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamualaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful. <laughs> that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. Today's video is gonna be a little bit more personal and from you read, exactly from the title, is uh, why I dropped out of Medina University. And that, that's a real thing. Some of you are like, SQ, who would want you at Medina? Shakul dehi apni. I get it, right? And I, you, you're totally a right to have that opinion. I mean, look at me. I'm a hot mess. Tattoos on my face, your hat on. I'm a give dawa. Him? Ye banda? Yeah, you know, I, I don't blame you for thinking that way, you know? I mean, you have an image of what a Muslim should look like. You know, you have an image of what a Da'i should look like. And I don't fit that image. Hence, you're a little apprehensive about me. And if by some reason you're even watching this video, that means YouTube recommended me for, for you to watch. So, you know, uh, I'm winning either way, all right? So, uh, as you guys can tell, the room is getting to be more of a mess before we continue. The room is becoming more of a mess. Okay, I'm sorry. This is the only thing I can do for my wife. My wife's pet peeve is the bed is messed up. But you know she's going to hate me because you could see all this in the background, right? This is some food that I had earlier. All this stuff over here is my workstation. I'm messy around my workstation. I should get better like that. As a Muslim, I should be cleaner. Um, as you can see, you need the gim mints. You need the gum. I'm giving dawah all the time. You need gum. You can't be giving dawah with stank breath. All right, guys? No stank breath allowed. Bandages, if you're a real one, you know why I have bandages. If you're a real one, you know where that straw comes from. The straw, ghetto. Uh, the, the string comes from. This is my carry-on bag. That's my dirty boxers right there. Uh, some sneakers that I brought. Let me shake you in the bathroom, even though you don't want to come here. I love my any Right? Look at this. Got some mouthwash over here. This is my toothbrush. I love it. This is the toilet, and that's my makeshift lota. All right, keep it at 100 always, okay? This is what you need. Muslims, you need to have this. There needs to be a little, you know, towel on the floor. Towel on the floor when you're doing your wudu. That's me. All right, baby, let's go. All right, guys, here. My small, this was real smart water. All right, real smart water, not just a bottle I filled regular water in. Real smart water. All right, guys, let's get back to it. Bismillah. Why I quit... Why I dropped out, why I dropped out, why I dropped out of Medina University. Here's the cold hard facts, okay? Got accepted, got my acceptance letter, submitted my, uh, uh, my references and everything like that. But I'd say there was two main reasons for me to drop out now that I think about it, right? Remember, no cuts, no cuts, straight to the face, no chase, no cuts at all, right? Oh, let me show you what outside looks like, by the way. This is Las Vegas at, well, in New York, it's, uh, if you could see it or not, it's 10.15 in New York, so 9, 8, 7, 15 here in Vegas. I don't even know the time, guys. All right, look how calm it looks outside. MashaAllah, look at that, right? It's because people are recovering from a hangover. That's why it's calm right now. Everyone's drunk at night, and now everyone wants to sleep. Stuck for Allah, what a way to live. And this is not me judging them. This is just me showing you how much the world needs Islam. Oh, no. I'm sorry, I got cut off on this thing. I pressed the record button by mistake, okay? There was two main reasons why I dropped out of Medina University, okay? The first reason was the following. Um, for Medina University, you had to be really, really committed to the program by going there to live, 
okay? If anyone is in the university or knows about the university or even like wanted to go to it, then you know what I'm going to be talking about over here, right? So you have to know and speak Arabic, okay? And if you don't, they put you in an intensive class to make that happen. And that roughly for them is going to take about two years or so, okay? The program that I was going to be enrolled in was going to be the Dawa program. So it was going to make me a certified or official Dai, graduated from Medina University. I don't know what that means. Like, I don't know a certificate or, or, or a diploma. I guess my diploma was going to be in Dawa. I don't know, right? That, that's what it would have been, but that's the program I was leading towards. So the Dawa program was four years plus the additional two years of of the program for um, learning Arabic. So that makes a total of six years. Six years. And I'm a grown man who had a, who has, not had, Astaghfirullah, I have, right? A, a wife. And I was expecting my second child, Haya, at that time. Okay? And I can't remember exactly how old I was. Maybe I was 29, maybe 28, 20. I can't remember. Wallahi, I don't, look, no cuts. No cuts. All right? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I was 28 or 29. I can't do the math in the morning right now. I'm jet lagged and all that craziness. Okay? And uh, the, the program is actually only for like 20 to 21 year olds. They cut it off at that point. And anyone who's real and know about it knows what I'm talking about. But they made an exception for me. They saw something in me. Subhanallah. They made an exception for me for the program. But I had to reject it. Because six years of my life and I'm unemployed. I can't feed my family, take care of my family. What am I supposed to do for them, right? So that was one of the reasons that was holding me back from, you know, going to the program and caused me to drop out of the program. Do I regret it? Absolutely not. Because it's from the qadr of Allah, from the will of Allah and His wisdom and mercy. And without me dropping out of Medina, I wouldn't be able to show you a hotel room tour with a makeshift lorta. All right? So that's the reality of the world we're living in, okay? Uh, second reason why I dropped out of Medina. Because my intentions were wrong. That's going to shock you, isn't it? I hope it shocks you because it's being real. Keeping it at 100 isn't just a statement. It's me being real with you and me. And I could just, ah, subhanAllah, I love these new videos I'm making because it's made me more happy and I'm not concerned about getting views. And it's not like I was before, but it was frustrating because I felt like I'm doing all this work, all this work to get some, like, where's the views at? Where's this? I have something to offer. But now I just post it up and if you want to watch it, watch it, right? But the real ones out there, I appreciate you. All, all four of you, seven of you who watch it, comment, like on my videos. Jazakallah khair. Sincerely from the bottom of my heart. This is the beautiful month of Dhul Hijjah. In a few days or a couple of days, it's the, it's the day of Arafah. I, I sincerely raise my hand. As a traveler, the best time for you to make dua is of the traveler. And it's Dhul Hijjah, two things. So listen to the dua, I'll make it for you. Anyone who's watching this, however many is watching this, when, whenever you're watching this at any time of your life, may Allah bless you with the best and whatever it is that you're asking for. Especially if it's good for your deen, your dunya, your akhirah. And if it's not good for your deen, your dunya, your akhirah, may Allah keep it away from you. And give you the wisdom and the patience to be patient. Be pa have patience with patience so you can deal with the decisions that Allah has for you. Okay? May Allah bless you guys and make your struggles easy for you and make your struggles the way it means for you to enter into paradise. I mean, how much time? You're three minutes in? No problem. Okay? Almost approaching four minutes. Okay. Second reason was my intentions were wrong. Surprising, huh? Here's what my intentions were. And here's why I wanted to go. Because I knew if I went to Medina and I could show you a diploma. Never mind, Medina diploma? No, there's not. If I could show you a diploma, you would take me more seriously. That's the only reason I wanted to go. That's the video. I, 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 was, I was lying to myself essentially, right? And I just realized that's three and a half, four and a half minutes now, but also the clip from earlier because, the, any, anyways, I digress. My intentions were wrong. I wanted that diploma and to graduate from Medina so that I can say I went to Medina. I could flex it. Oh, where are you, uh, brother? Where, brother, where do you study? Oh, study in Medina. Oh, mashallah. Oh, my God, Medina. I thought that that's what would make you guys and people in the world take me more seriously. That's what I thought, right? Um, and I had to have a heart to heart with myself. And I realized that if I'm going with that intention, even if I make it, and even if I do get the acceptance, and even if, if Allah does raise me through all these things, through having that diploma, what if my deeds aren't accepted? And I don't feel like they would be. Allah SWT knows best, but I don't think they would be. I believed 
that I would be that person who on the day of judgment is one of the first people to be tossed in the hellfire because they sought the deen, they sought knowledge so people can say, oh, this brother has mashallah nice knowledge. This brother is qualified. That's the only reason, wallahi, just so that you guys can take me more seriously. Can you believe that? And I'm here to let you know there's a ton of people in that university who's doing it for this reason. May Allah bless them. I'm not assuming the negative or uh, all of them. Can they fix their intention? Yes, they can. Yes, they can. I'm a walking billboard of you can fix yourself. People ask me, ask you what makes you qualified. You have tattoos, brother. Brother. You have tattoos, brother. What makes you qualified, SQ? The reason what makes me qualified is because I'm a symbol of Allah's mercy. I'm a symbol that Allah can take trash. Someone called me a joker and garbage and trash in the comment section. You're right. I am trash. But someone could take trash and honor them. Who can do that except Allah Azza wa Jal? I'm a walking sign for all of you guys that if you have a past, you can change. You can improve your lives. You can become better. You don't need validation from people. And I'm not saying that no one should go to Medina or to study in Egypt. I'm not saying any of that. Do not misunderstand me. I'm not encouraging people not to go or to, you know, drop out. Nope. This video is about why I dropped out of Medina University. Why SQ dropped out of Medina University, you know? And by the way, I didn't just like drop out. It was a tough decision to make. It was a tough decision to make. I made a ton of istikhara, ton of istikhara about it. And I decided not to do that. And, and if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be in this place right now. And Allah has honored me in His own way. You know, some people are just like, SQ, do you know with you and your personality and you had that degree, do you know how many more people you're going to be touching? You're right. But I'm happy with this. I'm happier with this, you know. Everyone is just, everybody wants to project what would make them happy onto me. But, you know, I'm happy this way. My family is happier this way. You know, I got to, imagine six years not seeing my children grow up. Oh my God, six years, guys. Six years, that's a long time, you know, but it's worth it. It's worth it. And if someone is interested in seeking knowledge for the right reasons, not the SQ, fake Dawa reasons, the fake Sheikh reasons, the fake, like, I just want to be a scholar reason so you can respect me reasons. If you want to seek it for the sole pleasure of seeking the pleasure of Allah and perhaps learning some tricks and tools and resources to give Dawah to people or spread your knowledge, do it. Go to Medina. Study. Go wherever you need to go to study. Don't let my story be the one that puts you off. But there's a lot of, of you guys out there who are doing things for the wrong reasons. And it doesn't have to be Islamic. I wanted to get my PhD. I was enrolling in a program. You see, you guys don't know these things. You guys think of me like, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But I'm just pulling back the curtain so you could see a little bit more. You guys think of me as this joker, you know, this guy. Some of you love me. Some of you. All you guys love me, mashallah. And even if you don't, it's okay. I love you. You know, the ones who support me, the ride or die people, brother, I love your energy. All you guys. I'm talking about that one percenter of people. Going, brother, you, tattoo, haram, blah, blah, blah. all that. All that nonsense, right? Let me fix my hat. I gotta make sure that you guys are looking at the right thing. I got a uh, Canon G7X Mark III so you can see the camera. That's what I'm looking up there. Okay, no cuts. No cuts. You look at me like, yeah, this brother. Uh, brother, you. I'm here to let you know at least two things, right? If I could do it, you can do it. All that requires you to be passionate about what you do and love Allah, honestly. And Allah's just going to open your doors. Obviously, you need knowledge. You need the wisdom. You need the, 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 the way to deliver the message. All those things, right? And sincerity. You need all those things. But if you do something from the bottom of your heart because you love it. I was doing all this off camera. This is what you guys don't know. Someone discovered me. My friend Shoaib. The Sunnah guy. I'm going to link his channel in the description below. Go check him out. He has some awesome short films on Islam. Awesome guy. My man Shoaib from High Wickham. I love you for the sake of Allah, bro. I did this off camera. That's what you guys don't know. All this, and brother, your energy. This is me off camera too. But Shoaib was like, listen, bro, get it on camera. I was like, me? Nah, 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 nah. I don't want to do that. But he convinced me to do it. The reason I'm saying this to you guys is a lot of you have the wrong intention. Why did I want to get my PhD? I remember. Why did I want to do it? Just so there could be a doctor at the end of my name or the beginning of my name. I see people like Dr. Greg Constantine, Constantine, right? Constantine. I don't know how they pronounce it. Dr. Greg. He's cool people. May Allah bless him and guide him. Um, and people take him more serious. Why? Because he has a doctor. Maybe he wears a suit. I don't, you don't take me. It's okay. 
I've learned to realize with these non-cut videos and me enjoying it, I'm okay if you don't take me serious. I'm okay if you don't watch this. I'm okay if you put the thumbs down. I'm okay with it. I'm not a slave to this channel. I'm not a slave to my camera. I'm a slave to that. That's, I'm a slave to this. And it took me time to realize this. Being on the YouTube game too, it took me time to realize this. I'm not a slave to views. Yeah, I'm gonna still clickbait you because it's funny, all right? But it's real. It is real. You know, it is real. Anything I talk about, Logan Paul invited me to his podcast, exclamation, exclamation, question mark. Did he? <laughs> is it really clickbait? I don't know. It's a kind of, you know, enticing title, but did it really clickbait you? Think about that for a second. Just think about that. New perspective. Ali Dawa calls me out on Twitter. Well, it's, I felt like he did, but he didn't. Is that really clickbait? I don't know. Maybe it is. Either way, did you benefit from the video? Then, mashallah. I thought that if I have a doctor in my name, Iknan is going to call me to speak. You understand? That's the reason I wanted a doctor in my name. And just like Medina University, I dropped out the program because that's not the right reason. I want to go to Medina if that's what Allah wills for me because it's the right thing for me to do for my ikhlaq, for my tarbiyah, for my, for my tazkiyah, for everything internally for me if that's the right thing to do. I want to have a doctor in my title if I, and study and get my PhD if that's really what I want and not just so I can uh, subtle flex on people that I'm a doctor. So I could correct people. So I can put it in my Instagram. Not that's not the reason. There's a lot of you guys out there who's allowed your parents to choose a career for you guys, a career for you guys. You know, and that's okay if that's what you want. If that's going to make you happy, cool. But a lot of you are also doing it for money or because your parents have told you to do something. Do it because you want to do it. Change your intention. Change your intention. Your qualities of studies will improve. I met this sister who's a dentist only because her parents wanted her to go in that field. But guess what? Now that she's a dentist, she also teaches yoga. She also does things that she loves. She paints and all that sort of stuff. You could do that too. You're doing engineering because your parents wanted you. Your financial circumstances needs you to do that. But then what about your other hobbies? Why can't you make YouTube videos on the side? Why can't you paint on the side? You understand? Don't crush and kill your dreams. Don't do that, you know? Don't drop out of your dreams. Damn, that was deep. That was cute. Don't drop out of your dreams. I dropped out of Medina University. Did you also know I dropped out of a uh, engineering program? I'm, I'm a walking failure, guys. But that's what makes me successful. Because I'm not afraid to fail. And I fail with enthusiasm. I'm upset. For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, I'm genuinely upset at you. Well, lying I am. Because there's so much goodness on Instagram that I'm putting out. I'm not just saying that. I mean that. Watch my daily stories and see that you don't mo get motivated or benefit from it. Watch. I dare you. I dare you to watch and say you don't get it. I post every single day. I'm on holiday right now, so I'm not posting as much as I should. Forgive me, but I'm just keeping it real with you guys. How much? 13 minutes plus the other four minutes, maybe. I don't want this video to be too long. But you know, I'm talking about, I'm speaking my truth, man. Keep it in 100 with you guys. Click out the video. But that's the reason I dropped on Medina University because I wasn't being real to myself. I wanted it for clout. See? I wanted it for clout. And I knew I did in my heart. So I dropped out. I wanted the doctor title in my name for clout. And I knew I did. I dropped out. I wanted to be an engineer for clout, not because I genuinely love engineering. There's people who love engineering, and that wasn't your boy. I had to check the battery, sorry. I, I, I was doing it for clout, so I dropped out, kind of rhymed. A lot of you guys are doing that for clout too. Maybe so you can have a title, maybe to please your parents. You gotta do things to please you, you have to do things to please Allah. Put Allah first, prioritize Allah. You want to be a doctor because of your parents and this and that? But come on, man. Do it because you. It's for you. Your parents are going to die one day and you're going to be in that miserable career of yours. I'm a school teacher by profession. There's, I was in these uh, you know, hybrid programs to help people career change. And do you know that there's doctors who've quit their jobs? Engineers, architects who've quit their jobs. Why? Because it wasn't fulfilling them. How can being a doctor not fulfill you? How? If you did it for the wrong intentions. You feel me? Man, this video is getting deep. But not everyone's going to watch it. And these are best kept secrets. These are secrets for the ummah. That only you are watching, person. So thank you 
for watching. I sincerely appreciate you. I hope you benefited from this and you're enjoying these non-cut videos. I sincerely woke up today. I'm just like, what video should I make? I'm trying to make a video every day. What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about that? I think that'd be cool. I'm, I'm liking this. This is very therapeutic for me. And don't get used to this comfortable seating. Soon it's going to be back in my home. I'm leaving back on Wednesday. Maybe I'll make a uh, video at the airport tomorrow. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. I think it'd be a nice keeping it real type of video. Uh, this type of video and maybe the airport. Maybe. I don't know. Tell me in the comment section below what you guys think. Uh, for all of you who made it to the end of this video, I love you. I love you so much. I'm so loud. I'm going to get a noise complaint. <laughs> um, but I, I sincerely love you and appreciate you so much. I'll catch you in the comment section because you know I will. I'm going to catch you. don't think you could get away from it. I'm going to catch you in the comment section below. You know I'm going to love your comments and respond to it with the bottom from the bottom of my heart. I'm humbled. I'm grateful, thankful, and humbled. I am that you decided to watch this video all the way to the end. May Allah bless you in these beautiful 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. It's not when you watch it. But I am asking for that dua now, so it's going to count whenever you watch it. Love you all for the sake of Allah. If you'd like to spend a little bit more time with me, click any of these videos right here. One is my recent video, and one is a best for viewer video. You're going to like the videos, I promise you. If by some miracle you're not subscribed, keep it that way. You don't need to be subscribed to me. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Until next time, I'm out.